the king, the king of kings. On your knees, dog. <laughs> Hello people, this is King Dub the 7th and I'm bringing some breaking destiny news. Actually, it's not really breaking news, it's just a... It's kind of breaking news, it's a review of the 2.0 destiny patch. The biggest thing that people are probably going to talk about is Gallahorn is being nerfed. Oh my god, Gallahorn is being nerfed, blah blah blah, but I personally don't think that will matter because... They would have to do a heavy nerfing on Gallahorn. First of all, Gallahorn being nerfed in PvE doesn't, or PvP doesn't really matter. They're gonna, they would have to do a heavy nerf on Gallahorn in PvE to make it useless. Like it'll still be a boss killer in PvE. The biggest pro, the biggest, not even a problem. I love it. The biggest thing that's happening in this 2.0 patch, in my opinion, is I think that they're gonna make auto rifles relevant again. Whatever. First of all, in order to explain this, I have to explain, a lot of people don't know this, but I have to explain the checks and balances of Destiny, well, how they were intended to be. One of the biggest things in Destiny right now, or actually, yeah, right now, I say, one of the biggest things is range. This is the biggest check and balance that weapons in Destiny have. You have your effective range for each weapon class. So how it was intended to be was auto rifles are supposed to be very effective at close to medium range. More effective close, pretty effective medium, long range are not effective. Post rifles is very effective medium, not so effective close, okay long. Scout rifles, very effective long, not so effective or a pretty effective medium, not so effective close. And hand cannons were probably the most, I guess, versatile out of all of the weapons. And you could find hand cannons that work on all different ranges. And each hand cannon would have its flaws in another range. Like you have some hand cannons that are good long, but not so good medium, not so good close, etc, etc. But, with the fall of auto rifles and the and the buff of other weapons such as post rifles the checks and balances kind of fell off because the fall of auto rifles made hand cannons and post rifles more irrelevant because not only did they nerf auto rifles but they buffed post rifles which would obviously make more people use post rifles a lot of people don't like scout rifles because they're very skill orientated and it matters on your aim a ton. It's the same thing with hand cannons but hand cannons take a lot more damage out of someone. And a lot of people like to fight up close because a lot of people like to use shotguns. So what the Destiny 2.0 with this patch they're making auto rifles more prevalent. Now they're not going to increase the effective range of auto rifles, but what they're going to do is they're going to increase the base damage of all the auto rifles, which I love. By doing this, you'll probably see a lot more weapon variation in Destiny PvP, and you won't see everyone using the same damn red death and thorn all the fucking time, over and over again. I get killed probably more by thorn than any other weapon. So that's how things work in primaries. Specials are a lot more simple. Actually, they got a little bit more complicated with the addition of the sidearm, but they're a lot more simple than the uh, primaries. You have close, medium, and long. You have your shotguns for close, your fusions for medium, and your snipers for long. Sidearms are pretty close to medium. I would actually argue that it's more, like, close. Unless you have the drag's promise, because that just kills people. Almost no matter what. So. Shotguns and fusion rifles used to dominate, because just like scout rifles, snipers are much more skilled. I wouldn't, I, actually I wouldn't say that. 
but a lot of people just can't aim with a sniper rifle. But the biggest downfall, probably in Destiny PvP, in my opinion, was the nerfing of the fusion rifle. What they did was they decreased the effective range of a fusion rifle and they increased the spreading of the blast of a fusion, making it so that like you have to be pretty close up to use a fusion rifle. The problem with that is though, well to counter that first I'll say this, to counter that what they also did was they decreased the range of shotguns. The problem though is that the effective range of some fusions like they were so short that you'd be in one shot range from a shotgun so there's really no point in using a fusion. This made shotguns that much more popular. So now you rarely ever see fusions, or you see shotguns and you see snipers. I was still using fusions sometimes, but I'm, I was always really good at fusions. The thing about fusions that they wanted to do was fusions was a lot, it was based on timing a person's movements and not just get staring down in sight and shooting somebody. It was supposed to actually take a lot of skill to use fusions. What they're doing is they're not really going to increase the effective range of the fusion rifle. But, let me see if I can see it here. Heavy ammo on the way. I think they're going to make the projectile fe speed no, actually the projectile speed for fusion is decreased, but the accuracy is improved. So, you're going to be able to be a little bit more accurate when you're at like a, a medium range. And the accuracy is reduced for long range fusion rifles. I didn't really see much of a big change in sniper rifles. The sniper rifles, well actually no, there's a huge change in sniper rifles. The final round glitch that, or it's not really a glitch, but it was more of a, uh, it was, it was cheesy as hell. People used to just, they would take the spear, Euphrates spear, or however you say that sniper, they take that sniper rifle, it would have final round on it, they waste shots, and they just shoot somebody in the body with a final round sniper rifle and it kill them with one shot. So now, the final round will only trigger with precision damage, which is very big because that kind of takes the, it's useless in PvP now, and it's only going to be prevalent in PvE. Not much changes in rocket launchers, not much changing in heavy machine guns, rocket launchers get a uh, slight increase in blast radius. Uh, proximity detonation range is decreased a little bit, so I know a lot of people who hate that. Heart light is going to get a buff. Necrochasm is going to get a buff because that's probably the weakest exotic. For such an for exotic that's so hard to get, that exotic was so damn weak. So that's going to get a buff. They're going to increase the stability in that. And uh, their curse bringer, like the, that's the ability that allow people once they die from precision shots precision shots they blow up like a cursed draw that uh that will always trigger from a precision kill and the blast radius will be bigger last word is going to be nerfed i know a lot of people are excited about that thorn is going to be nerfed kind of that's going to take a whole video in itself to explain uh Like, some of these Gallonhorn nerf doesn't really matter. But, I'm really liking what Bungie's trying to do with this. They're really trying to, uh, increase the weapon variety that people use in the game. And I'm excited to see how this new patch looks. Hope you guys comment your opinions on the patch. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Peace.